Hi, my name is Gloria and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to our Bundles Bonanza online class today. Don't you love our coordinating bundles, especially when you save 10% on each one? And remember, we're celebrating bonus days in July, so for each $50 that you spend on our amazing bundles or any products in the catalog, you can get a $5 coupon to use in August, starting August 4th. That means you can order from our brand new holiday catalog starting that date as well. Today, I'm showing a fun, unique idea playing with two of my favorite new bundles in a very creative way. The first is called Jar of Flowers. It has uh, several different flower types for different seasons, and my favorite part are the mason jars that you can do so many cool things with. It comes with a coordinating punch to punch out the jar. The second bundle we're playing with is called Nothing's Better Than. And it comes with a coordinating set of framelits or dies that cut out the, uh, some of the images, the coffee cup, the cocktail, and the chocolates, and the cookie, and then also has individual words that say coffee, cookies, chocolate, and cocktails. And my favorite part that says love you more than. So you can mix and match the saying. So you can do things like today's plan, consume chocolate, and be awesome. Or you can say something simple like cutting out the word cookies and say because adulting is hard. Or how about a day without chocolate is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. Those of you who know me know that I'm quite the chocoholic, so I fell in love with this set. This was one of my first ones I wanted to put on my wish list. Here is the fun card we're going to do today. I promised you a creative way to use that jar. How about filling it with chocolates? We have some very simple measurements today. And feel free to take a screenshot of this and follow along so you can create your very own card as well. We'll start by taking your pool party card stock and folding it in half by matching the corners. We take that bone folder holding it vertically. You're going to just take it across and up. And I love to create subtle backgrounds, especially when we have fun focal images. So I'm using our subtles embossing folder. And you're simply going to open up the card, make sure that the design of the subtles folder goes right up to the fold. So your fold might be in slightly, like so. And then you'll simply place it on our cutting platform on tab one and it's kind of a thicker one so you can just put this down with just one plate on top and send it through. When you take it out of the big shot you'll see that it has a really pretty very subtle texture it looks it feels like linen or a very expensive card. So I wanted something subtle to create our background. Set that aside and now you will create our focal image. So to do that, we're going to take a piece of white cardstock and we're going to pick up our jar stamp from Jar of Flowers. Now I always look at stamps and say, is there foam or no foam? There's no foam, so now we know that we need to use our foam mat for this card, for this stamp. So you're going to place that down and we're going to start by tapping the stamp in our smoky slate ink and you're going to press straight down and lift straight up. Looks like this. Now we're going to put something fun inside it. Taking the chocolate image, notice that it has three chocolates on here. So we are only going to use two of the three chocolates first and we're going to use espresso ink And I'm going to use these two chocolates on these on the side. So I can actually use the ink pad in the corner and lay it down so that I'm just getting two of the chocolates. Can you see that? So very gently tap on that. And we're going to place those two chocolates inside the jar, like so. One, two, three, and lift. And there you are. You have two chocolates in there. Go ahead and wash that off. I like to wash it off in between. 
To do that, I'm using my chamois cloth, which looks like this. And you just give it a little swipe and it cleans it off. All right, we're going to this time ink it up again. And this time we're gonna use all three. So I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna turn my jar slightly and just place three chocolates inside. One, two, three, and lift. And you have chocolates inside. All right, we wanna add a little fun color to the chocolates. So the first one, I'm gonna pick up the stamp that looks dark. This is gonna color your chocolates in for you. So it's a quick and easy stamp set to play with. We're gonna use crumb cake. Ink that up in crumb cake. And we'll put that over. Sorry, we're gonna ink that up. Um, we're gonna put it over the two chocolates. So again, I'm gonna pick up my ink pad and I can eyeball them again. I'm doing these two chocolates on this side. So I'm just gonna very carefully lay that in the corner like that and just give it a little tap, tap. So you notice the third chocolate is hanging off the edge and not inked. And you simply look straight over the image, press straight down, one, two, three, and lift straight up. And there you have a crumb cake colored chocolate. So it might be a light chocolate. Of course, I like dark chocolate. So this time we're gonna use soft suede. I can use all three. And I'm gonna stamp off onto junk cardstock first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it over my chocolates. One, two, three, because my soft suede pad is really juicy. And so we have some darker chocolates and lighter chocolates. Now we're going to take our jar punch, slide to open up the jar punch. We can put the jar inside, center it, and there you go, chocolates. Isn't that cute? All right. Now I want to make more chocolates, and what's cool about this set is you can do this coloring idea where you stamp the outside and then a different color on the inside, and it produces things like this if you change, for example, pink inside. But look at how easy it is if you are in a hurry to take that espresso ink again and just stamp that on any color cardstock. And then using the matching die, you simply place it over and run it through on your magnetic platform. So you place the platform down. You have a base plate, top plate, and if the ma magnet's fighting you, just go ahead and move it to a different place. And then you put the top plate on top and run it through. You can do that with any color cardstock, so it's super easy to create fun looks. So here's where I've used scraps, and these are the ones that I went ahead and stamped on white cardstock and then used a different color, just like I did inside the jar. But these are all just done on cardstock. So I've used Pretty Posy, that's the magenta one, caramel, uh, excuse me, crumb cake, and then on, on top of soft suede. So fun and easy. Now we can cut those apart. So for example, we can take this and use your snips. And I'm just going to give it a little chop. So now you can have pieces, individual pieces of chocolate that you can use in your picture. So for our card, I've cut apart one of the magenta ones that we're gonna use for our project. And also we're gonna cut apart one of the soft suede ones. Looks like that. And you simply again take the scissors. Let me move this so you can see a little better. Take the scissors and cut them like so. All right, we're almost done building our picture. Next thing we want to do is to create a little bowl. So I love thinking outside the box. This time I'm using a circle punch of any sort. This is one and three quarters inch. And I'm using my Bermuda base scrap. And we're just gonna cut a little half circle. Looks like this. Catch that as it comes out. And we're gonna create a little bowl with it. So now we're gonna take those scissors and chop off the bottom to create a flat surface. And there we are. 
Let's set that aside. Now we're ready put to put our almost ready to put our card together. We just have to work on the tag. We're going to take this great little shape. It's from a, another bundle called Tasteful Labels. And what's fun about it is some of them have a stitched surface there. So let's see if we can get you to see that. So that it cuts a little fun border. So the one I used is this one. Let me pull that out. Oop. There you go. That's the one that I used to cut it out. But there's all kinds of fun shapes, and it coordinates with another set, but this is called the Tasteful Labels Dies. We're going to take and put that label down again on that foam mat. And this time we're going to use the set stamp that says, Today's Plan Consume. Tap, tap, tap. And, oh, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to cut the chocolate words out. So we're going to go to the dies and take that word chocolate out. And you'll simply place it on the magnetic platform and run it through. You'll get this great little word. It looks like this. And what we're going to do is to put a little adhesive on there. You can use the adhesive sheets and attach it to the back of your chocolate chip cardstock before you cut the words. But if you've forgotten, you can do what I'm about to do, which is to use your, uh, your regular liquid glue. A very helpful tool if you're going to glue something down is our silicone craft mat because you can put adhesives on there and it will just wash right off. It doesn't stick. So what I'm going to do is to squeeze a wee bit of the glue here on the corner and then pick up any, uh, I, this is one of our stamping sponges that I've cut just a segment of. And we're going to pick up that chocolate word. Oops, where did it go? I think I covered it up. There it is. Flip it to the back side. So here's that word chocolate. Turn it over. Place it on your silicone mat. And you're just going to take a little bit of glue and just tap it. It doesn't have to be a lot. We're just tapping it a little bit on each part here across several of the parts. So I put a little bit in the front, middle, and the back. All right, and then you can remove this and you can just rinse this off with hot water and the adhesive will just go away. It's awesome. All right, now we're going to take that tag and place the word chocolate on here. And you might be wondering, why are we doing the word first? It's because it allows us to see where the spacing of the stamped part is going to be. So it says chocolate. And now we're going to use the Today's plan, consume, we're using the, one of our new in colors, our magenta color, and you're just going to stamp it right here at the top. One, two, three, and lift. There you go. Today's plan, consume chocolate. Now, I see a little empty spot there, so there's also a fun star stamp, just a little accent piece. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little Bermuda Bay ink, Tap, 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 and just put a little star up in the corner. Let's see, where do we want it? How about here? There you go. All right. Now I think we're ready to assemble our card. So go ahead and put the stamping mat aside. We're going to bring our card, pool party card back in with that great little detail. And let's put it all together. Again, I always like to place my elements on the card before I tape it down. So I'm going to put the tag in the corner. We're going to have our fun jar pouring out chocolates. And I want to have a few chocolates inside the jar. So I'm going to take my single magenta one and the single saffron one. Let me just get this little haircut here. And I'm going to attach both of those inside the jar with our dimension, mini dimensionals. You can use one or two. They are two-sided, so I peeled one off and that will have the adhesive on one side and then you just simply take the lids off with your fingernails. So I'm just going to put one, it'll look like a jar of chocolates, but this one will have some fun dimension. I'll put it upside down and we'll do the same with the magenta one. Take a couple of these, peel the lids off, and this one's going to be sitting kind of towards the edge, like maybe like that. So it's about to pour out. All right, that looks pretty cute. I like that. 
So let's go ahead and you can use your favorite adhesive and tape that down. And we will just set it here but not put it down all the way. All right. Now we have our little bowl. We want to put some chocolates inside that bowl. So I'm going to just put a little tape here on the back of our saffron piece. And I'm going to eyeball where I want the chocolates to be. So I want them maybe about here. And we want to tuck the magenta one also up in the bowl somewhere. So I might want to have a little bit like here. Mm, I think I'm going to have it behind. There we go. And then lastly, we finish with our soft suede one. This one, I do want to give it a little dimension, so I'm going to use a couple of the mini dimensionals, place it on the back. All right. Before I stick that bowl down, I got to see where that chocolate's going to sit. This one might sit because there's a little bit of cut edge there, that's going to get hidden. We're going to have it sitting like that, I think. And we can even cut that off. We don't need that extra bit. So go ahead and just stick that down. So now you have a bowl of chocolates. And then we're going to attach the bowl. The bowl, I want the bottom to be pretty, uh, pretty securely attached. So I'm going to use a couple glue dots. So here are glue dots, and on the back side of my bowl, I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots at the bottom, like so. And then I'm going to put a couple at the top as well. So I want that to attach pretty securely onto the card, knowing that I have a Stampin' Dimensional on the chocolate. All right, let's set our bowl here. That looks pretty good. Oh, my bowl's a little crooked. I think we're gonna to have to cut it just a wee bit here. And we attach it, centering the chocolates in there. Now I want to kind of give it, give it a pouring effect, so I'm gonna grab one more. This time I had stamped it on the sea foam, and this is gonna be the one that's kind of being poured down or in between. So again, I wanna attach that onto the card with some dimensionals. So if we put this tag there, I kind of like that. So it looks like it's being poured out into the bowl. And there's our jar. We stick it down now that we know we, where we want it to be. And then lastly, attach your tag. Again, I like a little dimension. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the four corners, or four sides, I should say. And you'll adhere that to the card. It's in the, there you go, and attach it to the top. I love the colors, they're nice and bright for this time of the season, of the year. So you have a fun bowl of chocolates. Now we can't leave the inside plain, so let's go ahead and decorate that as well. We're gonna come back in with the espresso color on the chocolates. So we're gonna stamp three chocolates, one, Just some chocolates along the bottom. They don't have to line up. You could even either leave it like that or you can add some color. So I'm gonna use again the soft suede with the inside piece. We're gonna use some soft suede to add a little color since the blue is a little bit darker. So soft suede, it's a dark color so I'm gonna stamp off and then just Place it one, two, three. And if you want to see what it looks like, we'll do one full strength. Soft suede, full strength. This will be a dark chocolate. One, two, three. There you go. And let's stamp off the last one. So you have a variety of different chocolate types. Isn't that sweet? We want to do a little saying on the inside. So let's set that aside. We're going to bring back in our lovely labels punch. And we have a strip of cardstock. We're simply going to turn the punch over, open it up, and we're going to use this side. I like having that decorative element, and I always slide it in, and I flip it over to kind of make sure it's centered. This strip is three quarters of an inch by two and a half. So let's make sure it's centered, and give it a punch. 
and then do the same to the other side slide it in and there's grooves that will help guide you too but I always like to double check and make sure that I did not go off the groove there you are I have this cute little tag and we're going to use the saying and be awesome we're going to use espresso ink and just center it on top one two three we're going to come back in with that little star to kind of tie it all together I'm going to do one in the corner in the Bermuda Bay and then wash that off on our chamois cloth and then I'm going to do two in the corner with our magenta so let's do one here Whoop. two sides to every paper let's do the saying again using espresso ink don't you love that there's two sides to every paper all right we're going to center first one two three there we go Start, let's start with the magenta ink so it's very juicy that's why it, it did that so I'm gonna do one here one two three and maybe one a little bit higher that's gonna do the same thing all right it's very juicy so you want to barely touch the new ink pads and maybe one here one two three beautiful and we finish off with that Bermuda one 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 two three so we bring those colors back in and when you put it all together you have a card that looks like that isn't that sweet so thanks so much for watching if you need any supplies and don't already have a demonstrator you can shop anytime on my website and please use our July hostess code remember it's bonus day so you get a five dollar coupon for each fifty dollars you spend now through august 3rd save those coupon codes that will be emailed to you so you can shop your favorites in august including that brand new holiday catalog if you've enjoyed these ideas and tips using several of our new sets bundles and dies please like this video with a thumbs up below and subscribe to be notified when i do my next video i'll be doing a quick easy card using the nothing's better bundle again it's such a fun, versatile set, and you'll love mixing and matching the sayings as much as I do. See you then. Thanks for watching.